why is this always the case? <laughs> okay, I need to make this video. Just doing my Luna things, having mental breakdown, and decide to pick up my camera. <laughs> Maybe I can help people. I also want to come clean about literally everything. I hope that you guys can understand and relate to me and I just... Uh, I feel like I'm lying. I feel like I'm lying to you guys. I'm gonna start off by saying I think I'm the most mentally unwell I've ever been. It's not funny. It isn't funny. But you guys see all sides of me always, of course. You know, you see me crying and happy and I don't know if you guys can tell recently. I just have completely lost myself. Um, I'm not making content I'm proud of. I'm showing my body all the time. Like, showing provocative content that, like, is not me. It's just cr a cry for attention and I absolutely hate myself. Like, I absolutely hate the person that I am right now. It's so scary. It's just, like, not, not me at all. Um, I feel like I used to make content that I was so proud of and that girls could relate to. I talk about body image and I was politically active and, and would talk about things that actually matter. And I would ha have so much satisfaction and purpose off of helping somebody out there. And now I'm just making such shallow content that means nothing. Like <laughs> posting photos of my body that's completely face tuned just so girls can say how much they want my body. Like it's just so dark. It's so dark. It's so dark. And the comments and like DMs I get, they kill me inside because it's not me. Like I'll post a fuck, I'll post an Instagram story, like literally a little useless Instagram story, and completely face tune it. Like I'm, I've gone absolutely nuts. It's insane. I think that like I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm obsessive, like completely obsessive, and I know that I've OCD, not physically, but like mentally, just. I obsess over things and if something doesn't go my way or if someone doesn't give me a certain amount of attention or something, it ruins my whole day. Like, it's all consuming. My brain can't stop. Like, my brain cannot rest. I try to meditate. I try to do things, but I, my brain won't stop. It won't stop. I just, I don't, I don't feel like myself. I'm completely addicted to my phone. I check my Instagram literally every, it's, I think it's every a minute who sees my stories and check how many likes I get and if it doesn't get a certain amount of likes and I've archived literally everything I I'm constantly checking I'll post TikTok, if it doesn't do well, I'll delete it right away it's like complete reflection on myself and my videos too like I haven't made a video at all recently that I'm actually proud of other than my you know house tour which is so fun but again I get comments that like that I don't understand my privilege or anything and, and I don't want it to seem like that or be like that at all because I completely understand how privileged and lucky I am to have the life that I live but like it's so sad to me that that's not shown off my video maybe I'm like completely just running around being a bitch like I don't know it's not me it's not me at all making videos of me just buying fashion and buying clothes it's so useless it's so useless it's none of none of that stuff matters I none of it matters it's fun, it can be creative, it can be, but like, I have, I need to talk about stuff that matters. I, I can't do this anymore. Or else it's gonna be so short-lived and I'm gonna have no purpose off of doing social media, like, I'm becoming the girl that I always didn't want to be, you know? I'm not taking any of the advice that I've ever given to anybody. I look at myself and I absolutely hate myself. I absolutely hate my face. I think my cheeks are fat. I want to get liposuction in my face. I absolutely hate my legs. I think they're so huge and muscular. Um, I tell my trainer, we can't even touch my legs because I'm so afraid of building them. I don't show them in any pictures because I hate them. I hate my arms. I think they're too big. I hate my stomach, my waist. I hate literally everything. I hate everything. God. I thought I was doing so well. I thought I was doing so well. Because whenever I talk about my body dysmorphia or any body image issues that, that I had when I was doing ballet, I always kind of speak of it in the past tense. But you don't understand, like, that stuff lives with you forever, and especially in the day and age that we are in now. Like, it's going to be a constant struggle for me, and, and I'm in the worst, worst of it now. Because I'm just comparing myself to everybody. I'm trying to make myself look presentable to boys. It's just, it's so dark for me to, to make the idealized version of myself just so people can praise that version, then how am I ever supposed to love my actual real self? I, I'm going to therapy, but I, I don't know. I'm self-aware enough to know my problems and know it's an issue, and obviously I'm not afraid to talk about any of it, but I have no tools. Like, I, I try to meditate. I really, really try all day, and I can't, my mind won't stop. 
I know I need to get off my phone, I have to get off Instagram, but again, it's my job. So how am I supposed to divvy that time? I know that I shouldn't find validation within other people, or, um, but I'm obsessive. I'm absolutely obsessive. I can't get myself to stop. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything, but I just remember like growing up, I remember like I'd be like, okay, on Thursday, I have to wear this one outfit to school. And if I don't buy this one shirt, like my day, it's over. Like it's over, my week is ruined. So I had to get this one shirt. Whenever I go to sleep still, I have to wear this one pair of underwear, one shirt, brushed teeth, brushed hair. My phone is plugged in, I had this one chapstick, like have to have water. I'm, I'm very, very specific. I remember when I was in high school, I would like be taking tests and I couldn't focus because a song would be playing in my head. So I'd have to wait for the song to finish. But as the song like ending was approaching, my brain would be like, no, don't start again, don't start again. The song would have to start again and I have to finish it again. I don't think this stuff is normal. I really don't and I don't didn't even realize until now that maybe I should go on medication. I've been so against it my whole life. Addiction runs in my family as well, especially when it comes to, you know, painkillers, medication, anything that is an escape. I find myself already turning to, you know, substances or something at night to help me for emotional reasons, which is so scary to me. I don't want to end up like that because I've seen how that kind of stuff can ruin somebody. I've seen it very, very close, and it's something I'm so against. Step one is that I'm telling you guys the truth and not lying to myself or lying to you guys, and I want to be that natural version of myself that I always was because I'm completely lost her, like, completely lost her. <sighs> Great. We were getting somewhere and now we're back. I don't understand why all of this is happening at a time that should be the most exciting time of my life. Like I'm moving into my first house next week. That's crazy. By myself. I just I also just feel so lonely. Like most of my best friends have boyfriends. I just haven't been able to be there for anybody like I used to. Losing relationships left and right, that means so much to me and give me so much stability because I can't mentally be there for anything. I really hope I can get back to that girl for, for me and for you guys. I love you guys. Again, if any of you guys are feeling the same way, I don't want to feel alone either, so help me out. <laughs> you know, through all of this stuff, feeling so stuck and feeling like I can never learn to love myself. I, I, I know in the back of my head that I will one day and that the only remedy is time and actually, you know, being diligent about doing things that will only better yourself and not self-sabotaging. I'm the worst at that. Breathe, breathe and, and thank your body for everything it's done. Thanks for letting me vent. Thanks for letting me cry on here again. I love you guys more than anything. I can't believe that I have the life that I do because of you guys watching my videos. Um, I'll literally never get over it. I'm so lucky, so lucky to have you guys and to have the life that I do. I'm so grateful. I'm really, really so grateful. It made me cry. Ah, uh, we're back. Um, thank you for everything, you guys. I love you. And I will see you when I'm in brighter spirits, which will be soon, hopefully. I love you guys.